Okay, so this is going to be the basic ancient tea side guide, so let's get into it. So first just going to be a house smoke, so you just want to come into the middle of this wall here, and then aim onto the wall, where this black dot is, just to the left here, and jump through. And I'll smoke house like so. Now this is not as quick as any of the instant house smokes, but I'll do that in the advanced guide, it's not going to be for the basic guide. Next, another thing you can throw mid is great to partner with that smoke. If you come into this waterfall here with your molly, aim at the bottom of this tree here and jump through your molly. This is a magic molly, so it will go over the skybox here and molly donut off instantly so this guy can't jump through or he's going to take damage jumping through. You can also partner this molly if you just aim above here and then shift walk and as soon as you get to this box here you're going to jump through. So shift walk jump through when you get to that box and this will insta smoke off the front of donut like this and the molly will land just in front of it here. So you're able, if you want to push out mid if you get a teammate doing the house smoke quickly you can do a mid take like this. And another thing you do support mid if you come in between these signs here with the molly aim at this yellow leaf here you can aim quite to the right and then take three steps forward and jump through so one, two, three, jump through. And it's all Molly off the Xbox at the start of the round. So this is super useful if you've got CTs pushing down mid and are trying to jump up Xbox and peak banana to start. Lastly for the mid lane, you can throw this flash bank with the tree flash. You just go into this rock here. Just aim at the bottom of the tree here and jump through your flashes. So you can throw a few of these if your teammates drop your flashes. So they pop right up here in the sky. And the perfect bit about this is if you've got your teammates swinging out this way, it won't blind them at all. Okay, so that's all the basic mid utility you'll need to know, so now we're going to go over to the A side of the map. Okay, so a few of these A smokes can be done from the same corner, so what you want to do is you come into the corner, and you get your teammates to drop you some nades here, and a crouch, where this leaf here meets the wall, you're going to aim just off to the right a little bit here, stand up while after crouching, and then jump for your smoke. That's going to smoke off the tempo entrance like this. Even if you miss it a little left, the smoke will just land to the bottom here. So it will still block off the temple entrance. You've just got to be aware that there might be a guy just sitting in the smoke, sitting brokey and baiting the smoke. Okay, and then for the CT smoke. So while in the same corner, just stay crouching. Where this edge of this brick is here, you're going to aim just up to the top of the roof here. And then stay crouching and jump through. And that's going to smoke off CT like this. So this is... This is the best CT smoke because you can't have a guy that sits in the corner, but obviously you can still get a guy triple. Okay, and last is a donut smoke. You're going to make sure you come just into the right here while you're lining up straight here. And then you're going to find this second diamond up here and just aim to the right. The diamond and jump through. And that's going to smoke off donut as such. So obviously it still allows guys to play this, these kind of angles in Donut, it just means the deep angles in Donut are covered. That's it for the A smoke, so if you've got someone that wants to an A execute, you can say that you can throw either one of these smokes, that's a great help. Now I'm just going to show a few really basic needs when you're coming out A that you might want to throw to help your team. So if you're at the back of the pack and your team just hasn't gone out main yet, you might want to throw pop flashes like this, so you just stand here, aim at this grey line and jump through. So these flashes will blind anyone on site, however if your team is already out main, it might catch them if they're out here because it pops right up here. So make sure you're only throwing these just as your team is coming out main. If your team are a bit further out, you can just launch flashes anywhere into this cubby here. And as long as they're obviously not looking to the left like I just did there, it won't blind you as they'll be right behind you and anyone looking this way will be blind. Then you have a few molotovs you might want to throw. So if you know there's a guy that might like hiding behind the big box or the crafting tables I like to call it, you can just throw a simple molly just behind the box. That's going to help a lot of flush this guy out. Plus, if you've got that temple smoke, he's only either right at the back or stuck here. Then the other super useful molly while you're running up. Just kind of aim somewhere in the middle of the wall here and throw and run click throw. And this will molly out behind the default box or the headshot angle, which is great for getting out a guy here. Again, this molotov's pretty loose. I'm going to show you again here. You can throw it pretty deeper and it will still do the same thing. But anything like this is just a really good molotov to molly out anyone behind this box. Okay, so then you should have something that looks like this on the A site if you're executing, and you'll be able to take it with ease. Alright, so now we're going to go over to the B side of the map. These will just be the most basic nades you can do on the B side, and more advanced utility will be in the next video. Okay, so first thing when you want to come through the door, it's always great if you get this first guy just for a running molotov like this up to the top of ramp. Anything like this, it just stops the CTs if they are going to push down. They're going to have to either smoke this or take a lot of damage pushing you. It just stops that initial push. What you can also do then is another person if you've got a molotov, just running for a molly like this, just to get into the entrance here of Cheetah, 
just so they can't run out straight away. If you've got a bit more time and you've got the best spawn and you're running up, you can just bank a Molotov just off the inside wall there. Just stops this guy pushing even further and has the additional bonus of flushing him out this corner. So you can come around the corner, pre-aim here and swing to the left and just make sure that angle's clear and you've got front cheater control instantly. Just beware that if you're offering that Molotov and you get here, the meeting point, the, T, the CT can also be about this point as well here. So if you know he's pushing a lot, might not be wise to have your Molotov out. Just clear it, make sure he's not pushing, then Molotov out one side and you've got, and then you can clear all the sides of cheater. So in case you want to also just make sure to blind out one of the sides and you don't want to go in straight away, you can, if you lodge yourself in the corner here, and just look at the shadow here and jump through your flashbang. This will come in the top of Cheetah here and will full blind a guy if he's playing on this side. This flash used to be better because the thing was longer, but it still gets this side. Doesn't clear this side though. She might want to mix this with the Molly and Flash if you want to be super careful. So example of this, you could do this. And then that guy would be fully blind. So alternatively, if you have a guy that's going to peak cheat fast on your team and you've got the second or third spawn, tell him to make sure he's got his back turned while running up. And you can just hold this and stay in this angle at this corner here. Just aim to the top of this tree and left click for your flash. That's going to pop right in the front of Cheetah. So as your teammate's coming up, he can be back turned. The flash pops and you can swing. And this guy will be full blind if he's insta peeking. Okay, that's some of the useful flashes just for taking this control. Now I'm going to go on to the actual be execute nades. Okay, so one of the first god utility set positions is just this corner here. You come in, you get lodged in the corner here. So you can do a lot of utility from here, so I'm about to show you. Firstly, you've got the short smoke. You just aim just on this grey dot here and jump through the smoke. You can also smoke long from here as well. If you just come in the same corner, where this little triangle is, you just aim just in the middle of it and jump through your smoke. This will be a good short and long smoke. So you can ask for two smokes there and you know you can execute the B site very well. So while in the same position you can also do some flashes and molotovs. Let's say you only want have one smoke, you can do the short smoke there. Then flashes, just on these shadows of these leaves here, you can jump through these flashes. These flash right up above the bit here. So if you've got team running in, they'll pop just above the stone, so you're full, but you're not going to be blind at all while running in. Whereas they'll blind most of the angles on site. Apart from a guy here on short, so just be aware of that. But you'll smoke it off. Okay, and this is the last bit of utility you can throw from here in combination with the smoke. So if you smoke long and you aim your molly just around this area here. Now this molly can be a bit finicky and doesn't always spread right. It mollies up here, but what it can do is molly out a guy playing in second behind the smoke and force a guy to play right in the corner here. So he can't play close around these wall angles behind the smoke, so he's got to back off. And when you're coming up the ramp, you'll hear him if he's burning in there. Okay, so and another util set you can do, if you come into the door handle here, just walk in. Then aim your smoke at the top of this leaf here, left flip through, pull out your molotov, aim just at where the wall meets the edge of this, uh, this thing here and left click through, and this will molly out emo. Now this mole again is a bit finicky, but it always late spread, if not to the backs of emo, so it'll molly this guy out. You see here, gets this position and gets this position, so he's forced out to run through the molly. And again, you can always combo this with flashes as well. If you aim just on the X here on the box and just start jump throwing your flashes. When your team's running up ramp, they won't really get caught by them as they pop right up here and they'll blind some of the angles on site. This is really powerful when you're also molly emo because as this guy gets mollied he's running out and he's going to be looking straight to this flashbang and be blind so it's an easy kill. And finally again from the same position you could smoke off cave so this is obviously the short smoke if you go just out to the left and then left click through this will smoke off cave. It's a great util set position. If your team is asking for a BX cube, you can say, oh, I can smoke cave and short, and you can just get loads of the util chucked here for you, and you can just start raining out util. A little bonus bit of utility here is something I always love. If you get into this position here, uh, I call this Hobbit. If you aim just at the bottom of this rock here, if you're stuck, jump through your smoke, and that will actually smoke off long. So that's a really helpful smoke. If you're stuck here, you're with a smoke, you don't want to cross back, because this all might kill you from short to go to the door, and you can still help for the X cube like this. Then obviously any kind of just flashes just over the top here when you go out would be really great. So you don't want to wide swing out in case there's an alt post on this angle. So just come make sure you're a bit tight to the wall. And just running through your smoke like this, it'll ricochet off both walls and smoke off short really nicely for you. So you're able to swing out and take these fights and not worry about the short angle. 
And then the last smoke I'm going to add in is just a way to smoke house, uh, not from spawn, in case you're bottom mid. So as long as you're along this bit of wood here, aim at the dot here and jump through. Good way of smoking off mid if you're already if you're already bottom mid. Okay, guys, I think that's everything. That's going to be my basic ancient T side utility guide. Next up, I'll probably be doing Vertigo, but that'll be it until the advanced ancient video.